Good morning. Today is May 1st. It seems hard to believe we're already in May. Uh, May, of course, is a traditional month for Marian devotion. Um, especially we used to do May, May altars in grade school and May crownings and things. Uh, today is the feast of uh, St. Joseph the Worker. It's a rather new feast. It was started up in the church uh, in reaction or in response to uh, the socialist regimes who claim to be on behalf of workers. And uh, so it's uh, an important day for us as we recognize our, our call to, to labor, to work. We're called all to work. Some of us are workaholics and some of us are workaphobes. Uh, so we need to kind of be in the middle, uh, need to take our obligation to work seriously. Today we have two Mass intentions. We have a happy birthday intention for Alexis Alforque and for the intentions of Susie Carbonell. And also today is the sixth anniversary of ordination for Father Jonathan Cano. Uh, so we wish him a happy anniversary. I was ordained six years ago. And so as we are just about at one o'clock, at eight o'clock, we keep going until it's eight so people who turn on at eight will see us. Uh, but we have uh, no news about any changes. So with the 15th is the last date we heard as far as uh, being closed for. But I think we can begin now. The entrance antiphon for St. Joseph the worker. Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. Blessed are you, and blessed will you be. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, Graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, over all these things put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. Let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Whatever you do, do from the heart, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that you will receive from the Lord the due payment of the inheritance. Be slaves of the Lord Christ. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, give, give success, success to the work of our hands. Of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten and the earth and the world were brought forth from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, give success to the work of your hands. 
You turn men, men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Lord, Lord give success to the work of our hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, Lord give success to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord day by day, God our salvation who bears our burdens. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Just a couple words. Even Jesus could not do mighty deeds because there was such a lack of faith among the people. And I don't think it was just a refusal on his part. But faith is what opens us to God working in our life. It's this trust based on religious love. It's a relationship. And so faith is freely given. And we have the wherewithal, the, the skeleton, if you will, of faith given to us in baptism. But when we need to personalize it. There's better theological words than that. But uh, for it to, uh, to become people of faith. And our faith can grow stronger. Our faith can grow weaker. And so we need to always ask the Lord for the gift of faith and to foster it and to do those things which help it to grow. Let us now raise our voices in petition to our Heavenly Father. Brothers and sisters, mindful of the words of the Lord, ask and you shall receive. We offer our petitions to God the Father through the intercession of St. Joseph, chaste spouse and father. The response is, come to our aid, O Lord. Come to our aid, O Lord. For the Holy Church, that it may renew itself continuously and bring the good news of salvation to everyone, let, let us pray. Come to our aid, O Lord for all Christians, that they may be faithful to their calling for the good of all. Let us pray. Come to our aid, Lord. For religious communities, especially those dedicated to St. Joseph, that the love which animated the family of Nazareth may unite them in joy and in sorrow. Let us pray. Come to our aid, Lord. And for our congregation of St. Joseph, that the spirit of humility and charity, which was characteristic of St. Joseph, may shine in all of its members. Let us pray. Come to our aid, O Lord. Let us pray for Father Jonathan on his anniversary, for Alexis on her birthday, and for the intentions of Susie, uh, that they, and by the example of St. Joseph, our whole life may be inspired to great trust in the Father. Let us pray. Come to our aid, O Lord. Heavenly Father, St. Joseph accomplished his mission in poverty and humility. 
Grant that following his example, we too may do your will with simple and generous faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, fount of all mercy, look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them out to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Leonard Murialdo, St. Junipero Serra, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our conciliation, we, reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with yes. your Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord, giving thanks to God through him. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Yes, thank you, God.